The question is, what is a dolman sleeve? A dolman sleeve is made of the same fabric as the bodice and is very wide at the ham hole and tight at the wrist, often cut in one piece with the bodice. And when we talk about peplum, it is a short gather, slightly flared strip of fabric attached to the waist of a woman's blouse, jacket, skirt or dress. So in this video, we're going to be combining the dolman sleeve and the peplum together. So welcome to my channel. This is Hannah Tiger. If you're coming in for the first time on this channel, you're very welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thanks so much for coming again. So guys... Let's get started. The fabric I've got here is two and a half meters, but I'm not going to be using the whole fabric. At the end of the day, I was able to use one meter and a quarter. So what you need to do first is to fold the fabric like I'm doing here. So I'm going to be cutting one panel first before the second one. So you want to start off with the neck measurement i'm gonna be taking four inches for the neck width and four inches for the neck depth of the top so i've got a four by four neck so that's my four there as well so that's four by four if you want to go deeper you can take you know five inches depth instead of um the four inches i'm taking so mine is four by four and I'm going to be curving out a round neck. This is a round neck top I'm making. So once you finish that, you want to take your shoulder measurement and mark that. The shoulder measurement I'm working with is 16 inches divided by two is eight inches. So that's eight inches first. So I'm extending the shoulder measurement by seven inches. And that seven inches has got one inch in it for my sewing allowance. So I'm going to come down by three inches like I'm doing there. So that's three inches. Then I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to connect it to the neck of my top. So I'm going to be connecting that right to the neck. So now I've got 7 inches extra in addition to my 8 inches shoulder measurement. From the 8 inches shoulder measurement, I'll be taking 12 inches, coming down by 12 inches. If you want your ham hole, you know, more roomy, you can make it 14 inches instead of 12 and next i'm gonna be taking my bust line measurement which is 10 inches so from your shoulder to your bust you measure it and mark it mine is 10 inches so i'm marking that then you can connect it with a line or like dots then you need to come down and take your waistline measurement and the waistline here is 17 inches so you make your marking like I'm doing and after then you want to take your hip measurement and the hip measurement here is 24 inches you make your marking again the same way you've done with the bust line and the waistline and you can connect it with a ruler or if you've marked it properly you don't need to connect with a ruler but i'm using a ruler to connect mine together it's easier like that so here i'm gonna be taking my ham round measurement you can call it the ham width as well so you measure the width of your ham divided by two and had half an inch sewing allowance so you're gonna be taking that from the slope the shoulder slope and start the connection before i connect my arm width to the bust line 
I'm going to start by measuring my bust circumference divided by 4. Then I'm adding half an inch for his and 1 inch for sewing allowance. So that's for the bust. Next is my waist. My waist circumference divided by 4 plus half an inch is and 1 inch allowance, sewing allowance. So I'll move on to my hip as well and mark the same. My hip circumference divided by 4 plus 1 inch sewing allowance and half an inch is allowance. So I'll connect all of them together like that. Then I want to move ahead now and check the 12 inches ham hole I've measured right there before connecting. This is a temporal connection at the moment because I'm still going to go from the 12 inches there and form the peplum. But at the moment, I'm still connecting it with the ham width. I'm going to explain that later. So once that is done, I want to come in by one inch. So I'm going to be coming in by one inch there. Yeah, I've come in there by one inch then because I want the sleeve there to be a bit slanty. So I want it to be a bit slant by the ham round. So I've taken one inch down. So I'm going to go ahead and connect them together. So now I'm going to be extending the waistline and the hip line. And the hip line in particular, I'm taking 12 inches. So I'm going to be matching the waistline to the hip line so that it forms a rectangle in shape so it's not gonna be slanty it's gonna be like straight on that side so the hip line is 12 so I'll later on match them together and form a rectangle so here I'm connecting the ham round which is also the ham width to the bust line and if you remember the bust measurements divided by 4 plus my ease in sewing allowance I marked that so I'm going to be connecting them together straight to the ham round ham width right and once you do that you finish doing that you want to connect the original 12 inches measurement, ham hole measurement. You want to bring it out like that and draw a straight line. And that straight line is going to go connect straight to your hip line. So the shape is going to be like this. So the mid line is no more, right? that's no more so you want to draw your lines now for your rectangle by that point into the waistline and ultimately your hip line so I'm extending the waistline now as you can see and like I said I'm gonna extend it to match my hip line because for the hip line, I'm taking 12 inches extension. You just watch me as I'm doing that. So I'm taking the extension of 12 inches. So I'm going to match the waist to it. So you want to take your ruler and go straight like that. Because that's easier. So you want to match it to the line that comes from the ham hole measurement. So it's going to come through like that and you connect it together. So giving you an opening between the ham hole and that point, it gives you about two inches. Now the top is ready for cotton. 
I want to just say this peplum is a bit different from the normal peplum you see out there because I'm going to leave the shape as a rectangle. I'm going to sew right through the line on the side there. I'm not going to be, you know, opening, leaving any opening on the side. So it's going to be all stitched down except for the hemline. So over there, I've had a two inches hem allowance and I've cut that. So here is the first panel and I'm using it to cut the second panel. And once that is done, the top is ready to be stitched together. And before then, you want to cut your facing. If you like, you can use a bias, but I'm cutting my facing and I'm cutting a belt for it as well. So you would place it like that and stitch the shoulder together. You stitch all the way around and you fold the M line like that. So here's my facing and my belt. The belt is six inches in width. And here I'm stitching everything together, all the stitchables. And after stitching, I went ahead to iron it. Make sure all the notchable bits are done inside so you have a smooth finish. And here I'm applying roses, a few roses to the neckline to make it more beautiful. And here's the finished look, guys. Very simple and non-complicated sewing anyone can do this no need for an extra sleeve or zipper guys if you've enjoyed watching this video kindly remember to subscribe press that notification bell for more videos like this like share and comment i'll see you in my next video but till then guys look after yourself and bye for now